White Orchard. It exhibits dense, green fields, clear cerulean skies, and holds a quiet reputation within the northern realms. However, underneath its tranquil image is a land caught in both troubled circumstances and recent subjugation, from poor tattered villages to now a royal griffin that brings the town to a standstill. It is a good premonition that a duel of witchers have journeyed to this area for answers. My name is Princess Balam, and this is Ambiences. White Orchard is a small Tamarian village that is known for its scenic splendor in agriculture. During the spring, the land is filled with its infamous fruit orchards and white blossoms, hence its namesake. Though the region is often praised for its picturesque qualities, it has recently been ravaged by war. It is a land that has lost its independence and in turn, the morale of its inhabitants as well. Most residents are typically occupied by agricultural laborers and farmers, though the land does have its fair share of hunters and fishermen as well. Despite the sweltering sun that comes with the region's harsh summer weather, it is typical to see people working the fields or picking fruit from the trees during blooming seasons. The village also features its own sawmill, which is used to create top quality, furniture grade lumber harvested from the vulpine woods. In spite of the concentration on hard labor and recent misfortune, something that can clearly be observed by the collapsed roofs and abandoned property of the village, children do bring someone of a naive quality to the region and the circumstances that surround it. Upon leaving the main village area, one can help but admire the beautiful, enchanting qualities exhibited when exploring its fields and forests. Wildlife such as deer, hare, and domestic horses are commonplace within White Orchard. Yet, one is immediately brought back to reality once realizing that danger is also commonplace. White Orchard's waters and swamps are typically inhabited by drowners, its forests guarded by bears, wolves, and wild dogs. But alas, even men themselves pose as a threat in this land. Bandits, thieves, who take prey on the gullibility of travelers. Yes, White Orchard's beauty may at times seem like a fairy tale. However, reality is never so pleasant. Perhaps one of the most significant landmarks would be the Ismina River. Rising from the northern foothills of Mahakam, the Ismina River flows through the region, where its fish serves as one of the main sources of food for villagers. The people of White Orchard are able to cross the river using the Wosong Bridge, which earned its name from a girl who would once stand on the bridge and sing, waiting for her beloved's return. In the northeastern area of the Ismina River, lies an elf guardian garrison. It sits on the bank of the river, and it is north of White Orchard Sawmill. The elf guardian garrison is a fortification that was once occupied by the Temerian army, used to guard the Ismina River. It was taken siege by the elf guardians after their victory at the Battle of White Orchard. Casualties of the war are incredibly evident from the wounded soldiers and medics that occupy the garrison. Other than the shallow waters, murky swamps also surround the fort but are not explored by soldiers due to the lurking danger of drowners. The outpost's current commander is Peter Sogwin Leve, who serves as White Orchard's current head of authority following the war. Make no mistake, 
Like the villagers, the commander is faced with his own tribulations as well, not just merely with the task of governing White Orchard, but also a foul and powerful beast that has found his way to the main region. First, preying upon his own men, and now, the feeble villagers of the land. A little luck does seem to come the commander's way, however. It's about to die! 